playing basketball, so I really just it's my outlet. Well, my my athletic outlet is little is little ice doubles skating. Skate, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know about that. My daughters are all three ice skaters, so I get to a lot of ice <laughs> rinks around the Pacific Northwest, but I haven't been to that one yet. Well, it's been the crowd favorite in Spokane. Interesting look here. A couple weeks ago. Interesting look here, Sam. First time Gonzaga's fallen back into a two-three zone. Let's see how North Dakota attacks it. Well, Seals has been the go-to guy, and he had it. He couldn't get away, get it away quick enough as he kicks it back out again. Three-point attempt, no good. Uh, from Dale Jones. You like to look if you're North Dakota. Uh, they do a nice job of handling that first look at the zone. Got the ball up to, at the high post with Seals, and well, Larson loves this matchup. Left hand hook, no good. Loose ball. And back to North Dakota. Interesting stat so far tonight is Gonzaga hasn't attempted a single free throw. I mean, Gonzaga is known for punishing teams by getting the lead free throw line time and time again as Avance has a nice up and under finish. Holding his shoulder as he runs back down the floor. Well, it's been interesting. North Dakota, they've done an excellent job of defending, you know, with they've been physical on that end of the floor, but they've only committed five fouls. I mean, you get taught. You know, that's that's what you want to do defend without fouling they put on a clinic in that regard here in the first half another turnover Gonzaga's 11th of the first half I mean they are obviously a smaller team in right. the front line and Keenan Walter the sophomore from Vancouver has three of their five fouls and he is their tallest player seals on the drive lost it Perkins and Silas scrambling for the ball Alternating possession goes to the Fighting Hawks. Tell you what, this it reminds me of the start Gonzaga had in the season opener where turnovers were the problem. Yeah, look, I mean, look, quite frankly, they've been lethargic here in the first half. It's understandable to some degree. You're coming off finals. You know, this is the first true game with you know, a game without uh, a true student section, and they've been flat. And, you know, tip, the, tip your hat to North Dakota. They've come out ready to play. Uh, Crandall with three on the shot clock. He took the bait from the Jeez. from wow. the crowd and got it to go. That's showing you a little bit of his skill set right there. Critical here. The, Critical 140 for North Dakota. Got a six-point cushion. Can you maintain that lead or at least keep it tied going into half? You don't want to give up a little spurt here. Hachimura off the lob and in for two. Love it. Credit to Jakob Larson there on that high-low. For as young as he is, the fact he's essentially hadn't played in a year and a half before this season given his injury, he has got a tremendous feel. Uh, and you, you see he's just scratching the surface, but he can really pass the ball. Just over a minute to play in a four-point ball game for in favor of North Dakota. Seals another jumper. That one is good. Well, the best offense. place to beat that zone is right in the high post. Seals has done a lot of his damage in that mid-range area that time. Finds it against the zone. Well, all the work they did prior to that, just swinging the ball, forcing yeah. that GU zone to have to shift. And now Williams gets that left-hand hook to go. This coming after the shot by Seals. He is now 7 of 8 is Seals for 14 points. Leads all scorers. Gonzaga without a single player in double figures so far. And now it's Stewart over to Rui and Larson. Wow, tough finish. Takes it off guards. the I mean, These guys know how to finish around the rim as Perkins gets the quick time out here with a little less than 17 seconds here in the first half. 